Well, despite a recent drop in natural gas prices, 69% of Americans are still seeing the highest energy bills they've had in years. And according to a survey from Hop Energy, the average electric bill here in the Midwest is $180 a month. And one third of Americans say they struggle to keep up with utility bills these days. That same survey asked consumers for their best energy saving tips. They included using energy efficient light bulbs, doing laundry in cold water, and unplugging devices if you're not using them. It's also good to remember to reverse the direction of your ceiling fans to push the warm air down, open blinds to let in the sunlight and stay warm, and put on some long sleeves and drop your thermostat down a couple degrees. Now, if you've been in your home for a while, it might be a good time for a home energy checkup to see how efficient your home is. And the Department of Energy does offer thousands of dollars in tax credits for these. The Department of Energy recommends hiring a professional to do this. They go all around your home, inside and out, using things like infrared cameras, leak detectors, even smoke pens to see where your home is losing warm and cool air as well as ambient heat. For example, if you tend to have a lot of icicles hanging off your home when it's snowy, that probably means you're losing a lot of heat through the roof and it's melting the snow on top faster than it normally would. Your energy auditor will inspect the holes where electrical lines pass through. If they're not sealed, they're leaking. It is possible to do your own energy assessment. The Department of Energy has a list of items that you can check on their website. And according to the IRS, if you make qualified improvements to your home, you can earn a tax credit up to $3,200. I have links on how to find a professional energy assessor for your home and the list of items to check if you want to do it yourself. That's all on our website right now, cbs4indy.com. For CBS4 News, I'm Zach Myers.